What it do, y'all? It's Cal's RC Adventures. Back out here with a quick bash with the Arm on the on the 6S. A little spot over here. Chilling on, chilling on my day off because <laughs> I need a vacation. So come out here to bash for a little bit. Got my um, servo horn fix. Got another one. And then I replaced the. Um, let me see. Recording is recording. Got the. Um, put the plastic servo horn back on with a spacer. So uh, I'll show y'all when I get done and whatnot. So. Yeah, let's get it in. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. All the way down. Sir.
Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> Still living, baby. Still living. Several saver doing his job. Yeah. It was a little chilly out here. Oh, hit that rock. Oh, that, that damn thing is. Woo. Give him that damn tree. That damn stump.
It is wise willies all day, man. <laughs> Ooh, my hands getting cold. Rocks in here, though. <laughs> it's a stupid. <laughs> Yes, sir. It is taking it. Oh, battery cut. That's it. That was a good little run. Full blast the whole time. That's awesome. Survive the torture chest. Tor torture chest. <laughs> Fast servo. That was pretty cool. Yeah. Could get this body clip off. Hell, can get the bike clip off. There we go. Okay. No one one foot there. Yeah, I killed one fan. Um, well, it actually, came off. Uh, plug that back up.
All right. Everything else. Anyway, what I did is <sighs> got a new server horn that had this server horn is a little different, so I had to uh, do some rearranging on the uh, uh, rod. I had to put it on top so that it used to be on the bottom. And also, um, I put the plastic uh, server saver back on it. And like I said, I had the hot racing server saver on there. And this wasn't flexing, you know what I'm saying? So, um, I did that. So, So y'all, see here, it flexes so it's not gonna kill my server horn on my servo again. That means it's good for bashing, so you know all the crashes and whatnot. Um, now this has the um, the V5 servo saver spring, and um, the way it has it, you can't is really not adjustment. So I had a um, spacer to hold the spring. What I did is I got a um, a thicker washer to put on there, so it's just giving me a little more more tension on the spring. So it does pretty good. But the last time I break a servo horn or kill a servo, so it servos pretty fast though too. <laughs> I think it's a 32 kilogram servo, but it's pretty fast. I've got the speed. So, yep. But it did good though. It did good. You know, I had a couple of crashes and whatnot, but uh, tires holding up and everything. So anyway, um, thanks for watching. This is Cal, Big Cal's RC Adventures. If you're new, make sure you like, subscribe, you know what I'm saying? And I'll catch you on the flip side. I got something special coming up in the mail um, for my Outcast 8S. So I'm doing a little bit of changing on that. Um, and I got to order some new batteries for it because uh, my one of my Hovo's 9200 million batteries had a dead sale on it. So, um, yeah, <laughs> so all guys, one pack of a 9200 million 4S pack that is done. One's good and one's bad. So, um, I'm gonna be probably order some, some new batteries for it and probably sell the other pack. So, anybody interested in a 9200 million 4S pack, kind of see, um, right now it's a storage charge and I will sell it. Uh, just give me a holler and comment, and we go from there. You know what I'm saying? It's a uh, Hobo 9200 milliamp 4S pack. Uh, bought it as a pair, but the other pair, um, other pack is at dead sale on it. So, ain't no saving that. So, I'm going to discharge that and um, throw it away. You know what I'm saying? So, if y'all interested, give me a holler. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, again, thanks for watching. Peace. Holler your boy.